Morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Kelly Byrne. Students and staff headed back to school this morning in the Scranton School District and the new school year means some big changes for the district. 2822 Eyewitness News reporter Nicole Rogers has more. First day of school, are you guys excited? Yes! Students throughout the Electric City are back in class and eager to learn. We learn about like types of animals. We learn to write our numbers. It's going really well. Our students are excited. You can see our teachers, faculty, and staff are happy. We're dancing. We're greeting. But this school year comes with some changes in the Scranton School District in an effort to prioritize safety, like requiring students to use backpacks or lunch boxes that are made of clear plastic or see-through mesh. Really hard to get. It's cool that you can see things inside. It is what it is. We're accommodating it, so we have no issues. Carissa Warby dropped off her son, Triton Roxby, for his first day of kindergarten at McNichols Educational Plaza. It was an emotional goodbye. I'm so emotional. I'm so excited for him. Um, it's hard to let him go with the world we live in today, but I trust he's in good hands and he's going to have a good year. What are you most excited about? Kindergarten. And what are you going to learn? Everything. We stopped by West Scranton High School. The students we spoke with say they aren't a fan of the changes coming to their school district. I don't really like it because it's this uniform and we got mad rules now. Like, we can't wear Crocs or none of that. Guys, clear on that back only. Another big change drawing up controversy? Cell phones and electronic devices are no longer allowed to be brought onto school grounds. No, I'm never really on my phone anyways. Most of the time, even when we could use our phones, we really didn't use them like during when the teacher's talking. Like we had five minutes left to class and they would let us go on our phones and all that. So I don't know why they took them away. I think it's better that they leave them in their lockers. That way they're not fidgety and they can concentrate more on their studies. Mixed feelings as students head back to class throughout Scranton School District. In Lackawanna County, Nicole Rogers, 2822 Eyewitness News. The district also plans to add 20 armed guards through a contract with Cardinal Point Security Group, and they will serve in addition to the school resource officers employed by the Scranton Police Department.